What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. It's very nice in this business when your instincts prove correct, when your worldview proves to be a great guide for, well, being right. And it's nice to be right, especially in this business. So if a couple of years ago, let's say the year is 2020, and you were to ask me, is Bud Light and Doritos good for you? I would have said, no, those are terrible for you. You should not have Bud Light or Doritos in your life. You shouldn't subsist on those things. They're bad for you. Put them down. Little did I know how right I would be, ladies and gentlemen, how right you would be if you agreed that this junk food is also junk for your soul and junk morally and made up of junk people who I, I guess hate their customers, hate children, hate the family and uh, hate you, the moral group of individuals who are holding all of society together. Ladies and gentlemen, Doritos is facing a massive boycott and massive backlash because they have hired a predator. There's no other way to say it. They've hired a predator influencer, somebody named Samantha Hudson, slammed for hiring this ambassador who previously tweeted about doing unspeakable things to children. It's a child predator. At best, at worst, far, far worse. At worst, somebody who probably should be criminally prosecuted. But Doritos has decided to partner with this person, Samantha Hudson, a singer and activist in Spain with, um, you know, tens of thousands of subscribers. Doritos Spain, which is run by Pepsi, announced a partnership with Hudson as a brand ambassador. The influencer has been condemned for past tweets saying they celebrate the sexual abuse of children. Doritos is being slammed as the new Bud Light. Yes, that's right. Doritos is saying, please literally hold my Bud Light. After hiring uh, a trans influencer as a brand ambassador, despite the activist appearing to promote child sexual abuse in the past, Spanish native Samantha Hudson, I've never heard of this person before uh, at time of reading this article, but... Uh, identified as a anti-capitalist and Marxist, of, because of course, find me an anti-capitalist or Marxist who won't take a massive paycheck from Doritos, from the multinational billion dollar publicly traded company. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, had, has effectively been advocating for child abuse. And Doritos says, great, hire that person. The Daily Caller posted screenshots of a tweet where this influencer uh, in 2015 uh, said that they wanted to assault a child. Uh, the Daily Caller goes on to detail uh, time and time and time again that this influencer has made illusions, illusions that I can't even read, okay, on this program because they're too grotesque. Like public statements, imagine what's being done in private. This is what the, this individual is saying in public about abusing children. In a, in a sexual way. Hudson's new partnership with Doritos was announced through a 50 second video called Crunch Talks, where social media users were quick to point out similarities between Bud Light. Oh yeah. Let's give Doritos the Bud Light treatment. This is of course something that is crisscrossing the internet now. Doritos face Bass for ambassadors tweet about 12 year olds and others, again, um, tweets I can't even read to you because they are too grotesque. So here's the influencer with the all cops are bastards pejorative shirt, right? Uh, plus the complimentary mask to go along with it. And uh, this this is what Doritos, so the, the person in the all cops are bastards shirt that is a self-proclaimed Marxist, this is what Doritos said. Yep, that person, sign them up. Make them the face of Doritos, okay? And this is the face of Doritos. Great job, guys. Really, a really spectacular job. This is who Doritos just partnered with to be their brand ambassador in Spain. You know what to do. Boycott Doritos, make it trend. And it did, in fact, trend. Doritos just picked Samantha Hudson to be their brand ambassador in Spain. Samantha Hudson admitted to being a uh, pedophile. Okay. Openly mocked victims of uh, child, horrible child predation. An advocate for annihilating completely and destroying and abolishing the traditional family. Great, great person. Here's the here's the actual commentary. Again, Spain. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. Um, but how, how did this person become 
famous, not sure. I advocate for the destruction and annihilation of the traditional family. This is the brand ambassador for Doritos and self-described pedophile. Time to Bud Light Doritos, says libs of TikTok. They now have a self-described predator as their band, brand ambassador. Ooh. Doritos, why y'all have pedophiles as brand ambassadors? Great questions. Uh, if you eat Doritos, that's who you're supporting. The people who are destroying and abolishing the traditional family. I'm good. Plenty of chips in the aisle. Don't need the ones that are recommended by the predators. Bud Light hires Dylan Mulvaney to destroy their brand. Burritos, Doritos, hold my Bud Light. Doritos just hired a self-professed pedophile as a brand ambassador in Spain. Woe to them who call evil good and good evil. Boycott Doritos. So the calls to boycott Doritos are obviously um, ringing from the rafters for very good reason. Again, why would you ever want this person to be the face of your brand anyway? Like, just, again, on the face of it, you're so, you're so controversial, so unbelievably immoral and controversial that, like, just a cursory review of the person's past statements will let you know that this is going to be pure poison. And, in fact, it has been total poison, proving that we are, once again, stronger than we know in about a fifth of the time that it took Bud Light to officially fire Dylan Mulvaney, Doritos fires the trans activist two days after bringing on a brand ambassador who is a, well, admitted predator for children, being alerted to sick tweets about depraved things to a 12-year-old. Ugh. Amazing how it has to come to this. Doritos fires trans activists two days after uh, bringing them on as a brand ambassador, uh, being alerted to these sick tweets. Doritos has fired this activist. Samantha Hudson has appeared in a new partnership for Doritos in Spain. The 50-second video has now been deleted from the brand's Instagram. Dorito told Rolling Stone on Tuesday it would no longer work with Hudson, since they were unaware of the previous posts. The decision follows massive backlash on social media users uh, of Hudson's comments. I mean, it's amazing how quickly anti-capitalist Marxists rush to get that corporate dollar. Gotta get the cash. That's what it's all about. Amazing how Samantha Hudson hasn't, like, had a vow of poverty or anything. Did Samantha Hudson get, get paid for this work? And also, how stupid is Pe Pepsi's like a massive company. How stupid is Pepsi to not do any research? Do you, you do no research on who you're bringing on? Hmm. Let's go ahead and check the stock, shall we? Uh, yeah, we can show you right now <laughs> why why samantha hudson was fired so quickly here's the pepsi stock for you down three points today two percent oh yeah this is not good there you go here comes the collapse and it gets worse oh yeah year to date oh the boycott starts and i've seen this before ah i've seen this play before what does this show you ladies and gentlemen this shows you that we are powerful this shows you that brands are learning. This shows you that there is a retreat of the woke orcs and these people who wish to destroy our favorite brands, uh, destroy us, the paying customers, uh, who are trying as hard as they possibly can to, to, to rip the fabric of all society and push these people and normalize this monstrous behavior. Nope, nope. We will continue to report on Jeffrey Epstein. We will continue to report on the Clinton connections, we'll continue to report on these monsters that do these things to children. It is our moral obligation to do that. We are called to do it, in fact. And we will not stop. Uh, Doritos, you're not getting out of this one that easy. You're not able to just fire this person. We're going to follow up on this. We're going to ask why. Why was there, why would, did nobody do any work on this? Did nobody ask any questions? And are you gonna get the money back? You have to make it painful, ladies and gentlemen. And that's the one thing that these publicly traded companies understand. Well, any, any company understands. You have to make it painful. You have to make people suffer. Financially and in the public arena for these horrible decisions that are meant to actually humiliate us and destroy our society. And that is how we actually save this place. It's how it's always been done. And it's why we are winning. Whew. They were fired in like... Less than 
half a Dylan Mulvaney. There you go. We are on the side of victory. Please join us. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. And stay best. See you.